we're in the north end of Boston, right off of Hanover Street. Um, just checking out all the new outdoor dining setups in the city of Boston. And in response to the pandemic last year, obviously with interior restrictions being what they were, a lot of restaurants need the opportunity to do outdoor dining. As we saw in a lot of cities, Boston really kind of jumped to the forefront to support um, all of these restaurant owners and businesses across the city in streamlining what had been a very cumbersome process to apply for permits. The restaurants in the North End set up very quick setups that weren't always the nicest last year. The city of Boston had folks take it out for the winter and then bring it back in the spring of this year. And a lot of the setups this year are a whole other level. Um, fully built decks and, and infrastructure that um, is really now sort of a permanent piece of the neighborhood. Yeah, so it's, it's great to see a lot of the restaurant owners really kind of take their own design upon themselves and add some landscaping, greenery, and it almost greens up their dining space, but it also greens up the street, and it didn't have a lot of open space and green space before. I think in a lot of these restaurant owners and business owners have really kind of taken it upon themselves to learn how to make decks in sections they can be taken down at the end of the year if they have to, and, and different component parts to these things that really they had no experience in before. And, and during really difficult times during a pandemic to learn how to shade an outdoor patio space and light an outdoor patio space, and also installing these 10 mile an hour cafe zones, you really encourage drivers to reach a lower speed where they're able to react faster, they're able to slow down faster in case somebody jumps in front of them. Um, and it sort of fits within the very pedestrian environment that we're trying to create over here. So you've seen some neighborhoods where they're adding gardens and growing herbs for the kitchen. You see some here that are really adding um, just, just more greenery to kind of protect patrons and customers from passing cars, but also just kind of enliven the space a little bit. It's a big lift. I mean, you're asking some of these area business owners and, and chefs to become botanists in a sense. Yes, yeah, so it's been a great opportunity to kind of deal with what have been very crowded sidewalks outside of these pastry restaurants and move some of their line, but also some of their seating for their patrons out into the street to enjoy some of the pastries as these kind folks behind us are doing right now. <laughs> Beforehand, the energy when you walk down Hanover Street was, was great, but it was always coming from the inside, right? There were always these restaurants. Some of them would have open windows, but for the most part you had everything happening indoors. So now we went from a neighborhood that had no outdoor dining really to a neighborhood that is filled with outdoor dining. And it's great to kind of see what you've seen here, which is just slow additions to these parklets too, like the, plant, the plants and flowers you've seen, the lighting, the umbrellas in this one. You've seen a lot of communities have tried to dress them up in year two, adding uh, public art and graffiti art onto the sides of their uh, Jersey barriers to really make it a, a more of a place in their community. So we're in the, in the patio of Luca and they really interestingly sort of expanded part of their outdoor seating into the church next door and there was an interesting arrangement between the owner and the church where they paid to improve this patio space as long as they could use it for outdoor dining. And then you have this space here which is um, some of these cinder blocks that are sort of an alternative to the Jersey barriers we've seen that actually look really nice and have great carvings and etchings that kind of make it appear like a, a building you'd find in a street in Florence over in Italy. I think there's some questions as to what the future holds. If this is Boston, um, parking is, is treated like a God-given right for some folks, uh, and the right to access parking is treated like a God-given right. So we're going to have those battles, um, and they're inevitably gonna have to happen, but I think it's more of a question of how do we wanna use what is a public good, right? The space at the curb in all of our neighborhoods across the city. Is it private vehicle storage? Is it private restaurant use? Is it public parklets? Is it outdoor space for neighborhoods? Um, and I think there's a broader conversation that needs to happen in Boston, but also in cities across the world too.